Hi friends, today is an audio tutorial um, and I'm a little bit sick so hopefully this goes okay. Uh, so I'm in Audacity at the moment. Um, Audacity is a free uh, downloadable for any operating system audio editing software. Um, you can just Google search Audacity and um, it should appear at SourceForge. So Google Audacity and you can find the actual um, Audacity homepage or there's a SourceForge link as well um, if you use that. So you can download Audacity for your laptop and it's also on all of the uni computers so you can use it there if you need to. Um, so I have uh, an audio clip in Audacity at the moment. I'll let you listen to that one. So it's just a sound clip from a football match and um, we're just going to look at importing a backing track at the moment. So there's two ways to bring in audio to Audacity. You can go to File, Import and Audio and choose your file or you can simply find it in a folder and click and drag that in and it will import that for you. So I'm using um, a track called Cut Trance from Kevin MacLeod, so that's in Compatech.com, um, which is on your list of places to find audio. And uh, you can see here immediately the length difference between my two tracks. So I have um, a very long Kevin MacLeod track, and you can see that we have our timeline at the top, which is telling us that it is um, around maybe 3 minutes 40 seconds and then our football sound effect is just around 10 seconds. Um, you can see that actually in more detail down here, so 8 seconds. Um, so the first thing I might do is cut my audio track to be a little bit shorter. So in Audacity selection works as a basic text tool. Um, you want to make sure that your cursor is selected up here in the toolbar and you can click and drag to select areas of your audio. Um, and then if you want to delete something, you can just press the delete key on your keyboard and that will delete it. Um, there are a few other things you can do if we were just taking out maybe the inside of our track and um, you know you can press delete again there and it will put those two together but if you wanted to do something a little bit different um, up here on the top right we have a toolbar of shortcuts we have options to cut copy paste um, and then trim and silence so if I were going to press the trim button what that would do is it will save the area that I've selected and delete everything else and if I use the silence it will silence the area that I've selected so instead of having nothing, um, we have a, a silence, essentially. So you can always select anything and just delete it to bring those pieces together. Um, copy and paste works the same as it always does. If we select an area and we hit copy and we put our cursor where we want to paste it, we can paste that piece of audio back in and you can continue to paste as many of those as you want and cut does the same thing as well so we can actually remove things and then paste them back in. Um, cool, so I'm just going to delete a little bit of this track and then with my magnifying glass I'm just going to zoom in so we can see um, our track in a little more detail. Alright that's probably too much. Let's just, whoops, all the way down. Let's just zoom out a little bit. Okay, um, so um, in the toolbar, there's also next to the magnifying glass, there's a time shift tool, which allows you to just click and drag little pieces. Um, so if I were to copy, which is Control C, and paste a piece here. If I wanted to drag this over and to match this, I can grab my time shift tool and 
um, you can actually just drag that along and it will butt up against that piece there. Um, so that's kind of good for organizing clips and things. Um, and yeah, so if I were to play uh, this now, because we have both of our um, tracks uh, active, um, we will hear both of them playing together. So let's just hear that. <laughs> Alright, so we have a really exciting football match at the moment. Um, so if I wanted to concentrate and just hear one track at a time, um, the easiest way to do that is to use these solo buttons. Um, so if I press solo here, what it will do is it will mute every other track apart from the one I'm on. And you can just unclick that to get them all active again. Um, same with this one. And you can obviously mute individual ones to not hear them. Um, and so that's quite handy, so if I soloed that, we'd go back to just hearing our football practice. Um, instead of always pressing the play button, you can just press the space bar. That's quite a handy option. Um, so that's basically in terms of kind of cutting up and moving things around and listening to it. Um, you can, you know, stagger. So the tracks come in halfway through. Just click where you want to start playing from. And so you can you get the sense that you can just layer up all of these audio tracks and move them around and kind of get them positioned where you want them to come in. Um, the only downside to audio, um, Audacity is that you can't watch a video um, at the same time in this program. Um, so if you wanted to edit alongside of your audio, I suggest maybe um, bringing it up in QuickTime. What if I can do that uh, quick enough to show you? What do we have? So, um, I have a old Pixel Jam video, so if I just turn this volume down, you can imagine if you've exported your, your video and you had this here and you could say, okay, at 15 seconds, which is way down there, um, you could start to edit your audio and then try and play it at the same time um, as you're watching. But you can imagine that this gets a little like um, frustrating. You kind of want things to play uh, at the same time as you're aud aud editing. Sorry. Um, so my part two of this tutorial is going to be on using Premiere um, to edit audio so you can actually watch the video as you edit. And part three is about moving these things into After Effects. Um, so there's just a couple of other things on Audacity that you might want to know about and that is the effects tab. Um, so up here on the toolbar we have a whole list of effects for you to use. We have Amplify which changes the um, quietness or the loudness of your audio. There's Changing Pitch which makes your noise higher or lower. Speed, um, Tempo, Echoing, you can add echo. Um, you can fade in or fade out. There's also um, really interesting things down here that I'm sure you can play with in your own time. But in order to apply any of these, these effects, um, there's only one thing that you need to remember and that is to select the area that you want to affect first. So if I select the end of my track here and I go to effect and add a fade out, um, you can see that that automatically fades out for me if we listen to this bit from here, you can hear that that's got a nice fade out on it and if you wanted that even stronger you could just go back to effect and repeat the fade out and you can see that we start to get some silence on the end of our track. Um, so you can do that for the fade in as well, just select however much you want to fade in um, and hit the fade in button and again I might do that twice and then we get a really nice soft um, fade in and a really good fade out. Um, so that's essentially the same thing for every effect. I mean, I can take this little part, just select it, go up to the effect and add anything you want to add to it, essentially. Um, put some echoes on there. Wait, wait, wait. So you can hear that this one's got um, another beat in the middle because that's actually the echo. So 
So um, that's just something to play with. So any of these effects you can um, add on, pile up, and just make sure you're selecting the area first. Um, in terms of exporting, um, if you have both tracks basically not one of them selected or anything like that, um, if you have both tracks live and you go to File and Export, um, what that's going to do is it's going to actually flatten all of the audio that you have playing at once. So make sure that you know that you want all of these tracks to export in the same file. If you just wanted one to export, um, you would select that track. So say I just want the cut chance at the bottom to export. Um, you can just click on this grey area and that will select the whole track for you. Then instead of going to File Export, just make sure you're hitting Export Selection. So it just depends on what you want to actually export out, whether it's all of the audio flattened into one file or whether it's um, just selections of your audio. So when you export, um, there are a few options in terms of type, but um, MP3, uh, which is quite a popular one, one that people seem to use a lot, um, it actually needs its own downloadable library. So if I were to save this as an MP3, um, my computer, you can see, it doesn't have the um, the library for exporting as MP3. So it actually gives you an option to go and download that library um, to let you export as MP3. Uh, you don't have to, so you can go to um, save as, and if you're um, on PC like I am, you might want to export as a WAV. Um, AIFF is totally fine as well. Um, but I like using WAV. Um, that does go into After Effects, so you just want to make sure that whatever you're exporting as, um, you can actually transfer it into your final editing area. So um, you can save that as a WAV. Just hit Save, and essentially that has exported it. Um, if we go to my, oh, where are we? Desktop 48, and this is where I put it. Is this where I put it? <laughs> I've completely forgotten where I put it. But, um, just, oh, here it is, music. Okay, so test wave. Um, so if I just open that with VLC. Oh, I've turned my sound down. Uh. There we go. So this is my um, exported selection. Okay, so that is the basics of Audacity and uh, head into part two if you want to learn a little bit about editing in Premiere Pro.